everybody! Hey, this is Daryl at Big Bang Toys, Comics, and Games, ready to give you an advanced look of what you should check out this week in the world of comics, Wednesday, the weekly holiday, one we all look forward to. It's New Comic Day. So first up, we're going to start off with Dark Horse Comics. You need to check out Prometheus Fire and Stone, number one. Now, why should you check out this book? Well, if you like Aliens, you like Predator, and you like the movie Prometheus, that whole universe will all of them collide in a comic uh, miniseries event. Kind of a massive crossover between Alien, Predator, and Prometheus, and it all starts this week with Prometheus Fire and Stone number one. If you dig those franchises, if you really like those characters, you really want to check this out. Dark Horse has put in a lot of effort, and you can actually check out a trailer uh, on our Facebook page right now uh, from, about, from just specifically about Prometheus Fire and Stone number one. Check it out. This is a book you're going to want to try. From DC Comics, well, the Future's End, the five-year universe that takes place in the future, if you're not checking out their weekly book, Future's End, it's actually starting to get better and better each week. Uh, if you've already dropped it, you might want to jump back on the book. Yeah, I know it's a DC comic book, but I'm telling you to try it. Future's End is actually very interesting, getting better. It's, it's the DC universe five years in the future, and it's affecting all the regular books. And they come with a cool 3D cover, much like the villain books last month. But by the way, you can get all these all these uh, covers for uh, cover price. And this week we've got Batgirl, Batman, Birds of Prey, Constantine, Green Lantern Corps, Infinity Man, and the Forever People. Justice League United, New Suicide Squad, Superboy, World's Finest. All these 3D covers you're going to want to check out and keep for your collection. And if you're reading Birds of Prey and Superboy, these are the last issues. So, uh, no offense to Superboy, but they should have canceled that book like long, long time ago. That book should have died after like issue number three. Anyway, Dan Didio, Jim Lee, uh, everybody knows I'm right on that one. Superboy, let's bring back the real Connell, okay? All right. Young Justice fans, Teen Titan fans, real fans, want him back. Bring him back. All right. With that said, uh, also from DC Comics, you want to check out Superman Unchained number eight. Now, Scott Snyder and Jim Lee's run ends in one more issue, and is starting to pick up the pace. Uh, in like this book, it actually has been one of the most solid Superman books. The other better Superman book out there is the one by Jeff Johns, the regular Superman title, which you're not, if you're not reading, you really should read. Jeff Johns, if he touches it, if he writes it, it's good. Read it. Yes, Dan Didio, Jim Lee, take note. Jeff Johns should write almost any DC title. But anyway, Superman Unchained, Scott Snyder and Jim Lee have done a great job. It's been a great book. It's about to wrap up. Check it out. I'm going to take a breather. All right. Now, from the world of Dynamite Entertainment or Dynamite Comics, there's a couple of books I want you, I think you should check out. Captain Victory and the Galactic Rangers, number two. Uh, if you like Jack Kirby properties. Now, some people like Infinity Man and Forever People from DC. But if you want a... A, it's actually an obscure Kirby property, but it's done really well, and the art is done well. If you like Kirby Crackle, <laughs> and Kirby fans will know what I'm talking about, read Captain Victory and the Galactic Rangers number two, written by Joe Casey. Also, I just want to mention Magnus Robot Fighter. It comes out this week. It's a really cool book. Uh, imagine the Matrix meets uh, robots meets iRobot. Uh, Magnus is, is, a, is the only man who can somehow look at a robot and f immediately senses weakness and he's they added a kung fu element to it it's a very cool book i've been with it since issue one it's probably one of the underrated uh, independent books out there you really should try magnus solar man of the atom is great uh... flash gordon is awesome too by jeff parker very awesome dynamite book uh... i'm trying to think uh... oh mark wade writes uh, dr specter master of the occult uh, still haven't i've only read issue one uh... i usually say give a book a three issue try see what see what's going down but uh, anyway, try, try out Magnus. The Gold Key Revival of Dynamite is actually very good. You want to check out those characters. Oh, Turok. Can't forget Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Excellent book by Greg Pak. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Read that. Now we're going to get into Image. Image Comics. Books you should take a look at this week. Well, a little known book called Walking Dead is coming out number 131. We don't need to hear about that. Now, The Walking Dead, check it out. Velvet number 7 by Ed Brubaker. If you like noir, if you like good writing, Velvet, check it out. MPH number three from Mark Miller or Mark Millar, depending on how you're pronouncing it. Uh, he's MPH. Uh, it's the Miller, the Millerverse, uh, a super fast character with a twist. Uh, it's actually been pretty interesting so far. Check it out. Uh, and lastly, 
Robert Kirkman's invincible. If you like what he does with Walking Dead, uh, Robert Kirkman does one thing well. Like, no, nothing is sacred. Uh, if you like a character, he's not opposed to killing them or taking them out or changing them or turning them evil. Invincible. If you like what he does with Walking Dead with zombies and humans, check out what he does with superheroes and Invincible. Uh, the book actually just started a new arc. You should check it out. Oh, also, one book you really want to take a look at this week from Legendary Comics is Annihilator by Grant Morrison. And Annihilator is about a writer named Ray Spass, who's a, he's one failed script away from obscurity. So, in a desperate attempt to prevent the universe from imploding, he teams up with his fictional character, Max Nomax, to save the universe. All I can say is when you see the cover, you might have to just read this book. Check it out. Uh, from a legendary comics from Grant Morrison, Annihilator. It's a miniseries, six issues. It looks uh, looks like it has some tremendous potential. Look at it. <laughs> Lastly, finally, from Marvel Comics, my favorite character, the Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man number six comes out. Number five, it looks like he's going to be unmasked on television. Will he or will he not be? Most likely he's not going to be unmasked. But Black Cat and Electro are out for blood. How's it going to play out? Also, the new character, Silk, the other girl, bitten by the radioactive spider as we learned from original sin and its revelations there was another girl bitten by the radioactive radioactive spider and her name is silk who is she how is she going to affect the the spider universe check that out also you want to read death of wolverine number two by charles soul number one was amazing uh this is some of the best written wolverine story stories i've read in a long time Charles Soule just signed an exclusive Marvel contract. You want to read this book. Good stuff. Uh, and it comes out every week this month. Also, Edge of Spider-Verse, number one. Spider-Man Noir returns. The Spider-Man of the 30s. It takes on Mysterio. And it's also the beginning of the massive Spider-Verse event that's taking place in all the Spider-Man titles where the, the classic character, Moreland, that J. Michael Straczynski revealed in his run in Amazing Spider-Man, which, by the way, the J. Michael Straczynski run is on our recommended reading wall right over here. You want to check that out. Awesome stuff. Moreland, one of the best villains created in the last 15 to 20 years for Spider-Man. He's coming to kill uh, any Spider-Man of any universe, and all of the Spider-Man characters from, <laughs> from any universe are uniting to take on Moreland. And speaking of which, the Gwen Stacy Spider-Girl looks pretty awesome. Pretty cool costume, pretty cool design. You want to check out uh, Edge of Spider-Verse number one, which this miniseries will lead into Spider-Verse number one uh, in a month or so. Uh, also, you want to read Hawkeye number 20. Matt Fraction's run is coming to an end from what I'm gathering. This has been a, this has been a, a great book. Check out Hawkeye number 20. Uh, Everyday superheroes. It's it's really cool. If you like if you like Hawkeye or you like Daredevil, you like She-Hulk, you need to be reading all three of those books. Good stuff. For with Magneto number nine, the road to Axis begins here. Magneto is going to be confronting the Red Skull. Uh, Marvel is promising big things here. Axis is going to have some major ramifications. And I know companies say that a lot, but they put a lot into this. You want to check it out. Also, Marvel Marvel's 75th anniversary magazine edition. It's, it's only $9.99. WWE fans will appreciate that little nod there. But the, the Marvel 75th Anniversary Magazine Edition uh, just looks like a, a collector's item. It's got an Alex Ross cover. It should be really awesome. And last thing I want to mention is New Warriors number 9. The book is ending with number 12. But the, if you like the classic uh, Marvel Wolfman, George Perez, New Teen Titans, for some reason, I'm not saying it's the same book, but it kind of has a similar feel. It ends with number 12. This has actually been a very good book that's actually underrated. Most people don't read. I just say you try New Warriors number nine. In fact, try the whole series. Uh, and that is it. Any other books that you think maybe I should read or maybe someone else should read, feel free to write some comments down. Uh, any book that maybe we didn't mention you feel like should have been mentioned. Also, go to our website, buybigbang.com. And remember that we got them. And don't forget...